right? All right, so do I have a move to call to order? Yes, I move. I'll second. Okay, there we go. So let's see. She sent along an agenda. She did earlier send the minutes. So let's take a minute to read through those minutes. And um, when you have a chance to do that, we'll take a movement to approve. I uh, want to note that my last name is misspelled at the very bottom of the minutes. Uh, it's a common mistake, but um, just wanted to note that. Yep. Apologies on that. We'll get that corrected. Note that. Can I take a call to approve with the corrections to Peter's name? So moved. I'll second. Thank you. Okay, I think we need to approve the agenda as well. So moved. <laughs> I second. All right, making some progress here. We're gonna okay. get at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, commissioner updates. Do we have a rep from the Bloomington Council on the status of women? No, I don't think that member's on the call today, so we will have to postpone that to the next meeting. Continuing business, I can give you some updates on girls coding camp. So registration is now open. Uh, Michelle's handling the registrations on her end. Looks like we've got 16 registrants thus far. We have confirmed three locations. So we are in Ellettsville, um, the Boys and Girls Club here on Lincoln Street and the mill. Um, we've got interns from my center staffing Boys and Girls Club in the mill and interns from Teach IT over at the Luddy School uh, covering the um, Edgewood location. Uh, we are, sorry, I'm on campus. And if you hear shouting, uh, you know, there are college <laughs> students around. <laughs> um, so my apologies for the background noise. Um, so I lost my train of thought, but just updates on that. So we, oh, curriculum. We are set for the uh, next couple of weeks. We're, we're waiting for some final um, details on the uh, last few weeks, but uh, we have a good, good system going and I think we're ready to go with that. Um, yeah, I think everything there looks like we're right on track and I expect we're gonna get a lot more registrations. The, the marketing just was released this week and I know individual partners um, our office included um, have um, been doing some advertising. So I expect that those numbers are gonna go up in pretty short order. Are there any questions about that I might be able to answer? Can you remind me, is there a cap on the numbers? We're trying to limit it to 15 per site. Gotcha, okay. Um, you know, I imagine if it goes a little bit over that, that's okay. Um, and I think what will happen is from week to week, uh, we'll have some ebb and flow on attendance is pretty standard for after school programs yeah yeah but that's great with it without any marketing we're already over a third of the way there to the cap yeah yeah so I, I think we're in good shape there all right the, uh any other questions about girls coining camp before we move on All right, so next on the agenda is the Women's Equality um, Day. Um, do we have anyone on the call with updates on Women's Equality Day? I mean, this is Becky. Hi, Becky. Hi. So unfortunately, we couldn't do the Women's Equality <laughs> Day because we scheduled a time for, because we spoke with the Monroe County Board, I believe. And we did talk to them about having a Facebook Live. And based on what 
we like the thought that we what we thought about doing so they said that we can have more than one person on a facebook live i believe but we wanted all the commissioners to be on board so they so that was how he suggested we can do like a zoom recording and send the link and send the recording to them and then they'll post it based on uh, the Facebook page. And then if people have questions, we can answer on the comment section. So we scheduled a date for, I think it was August 26. Oops, I'm not mistaken. August 26, I believe. And myself and Michelle, no, not Michelle. Myself and Nicole called in because we're anchoring the event, but fortunately no commissioner called in that day. So we couldn't interview any commissioner to post the Facebook live page. So yeah, and we were on the call for like 20 minutes and no one called in. So we just disconnected the Zoom call and yeah. So, so far that's that's what happened for it. Well, Becky, I'm sorry that that didn't work out. I, I know that there were several commissioners, myself included, who had, co had commitment that day and had earlier reported that we wouldn't be able to call in. Um, but I hate to see that you put through that effort and um, we're, we're not able to pull that off. So thanks for your work there. And mm -hmm. we'll have to look at ways to improve that. Any I'll other mention that um, uh, there was a uh, National Recovery Month kickoff uh, on the Courthouse Square. I believe that was last week. And um, all three commissioners were in, in attendance there. So it is possible to get the commissioners um, in attendance at an event. Um, and I'm more than happy to work with our legal team to address some of the state laws that prevent um, it's called open door laws that prevent um, more than one elected official being in one place at one time. Um, and there, there's um, certain events that we can do to, to ensure that, um, that they're all there. Uh, so I, I'm happy to work with you in the future to, to make that happen. I'm sorry to hear that it didn't work out though. That's, that's really unfortunate. Um, yeah. Well, Peter, thanks for offering that. Becky, did you want to say anything else or Rima on that? No, that's all I had. Rima, it looks like you came off mute for a second, so I wanted to just... Oh, no, I just left it off mute. Okay, okay. Great. All right, upcoming guest speakers. Uh, looks like we've got some people lined up. Looks like our October date, Dr. Marky Winston will be coming from the Monroe County um, School Board, uh, School Corporation, and then Aaron Fredmore from the Chamber in November, Efred Pfefferman, I hope I'm saying that correctly, from the United Way in December, Joyce Rogers from the IU Foundation in January, and Deborah Morrow also in January from Middleway House, so a nice uh, line up for our next few meetings. So uh, thanks to everyone who's worked on that. Yeah, Peter. Do we know, are these all confirmed? I'm looking at what you're looking at, so I don't right, right, right. know. I, I know that uh, Ms. Predmore uh, will be leaving our community and uh, sh she has a job opportunity that's going to be taking her out of our community. And I just wanted to make sure that we're getting her before she leaves. Okay. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. I'm, I'm okay. sure that Michelle can loop back around. I, I can. I can touch base with Michelle. Okay. Great. Thanks for that information, though. Okay. I, I don't know. How, at some point, I suppose we'll be looking and pooling for suggestions for February and on past that those January dates. Mm -hmm. It looks like we've got the next couple of months handled. Um, and then the last thing on the agenda is the commissioner's mixer 10 year celebration idea. Does anyone have information to share on that? OK, 
Okay. What is so. the 10 year? I guess, are we in the year or is that for next year? I don't know the answer to that question, Rema. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. I'm just doing the best I can on the last minute here. So yeah, I have just as much information as I have. I'm just trying to walk us through what we got here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. So we'll table that. Does anyone have any new business? Okay, and I don't see that there's any other public community members on the call. It looks like it's just Becky, Rima, Peter, and I, and our great technical host stars. So <laughs> thank you for being here. Uh, are there any open discussion items? I will just say that the Women's Commission did present to um, the uh, Monroe County Council and the Monroe County Board of Commissioners, and that was successful. So um, I, we, I, we really appreciated that. And um, the more that we can um, have the Women's Commission present to the Monroe County Council, which is the fiscal body of the county, the, the better I think things are going to go. Uh, it's always nice to hear from, from this, this body. Great. Great. When was that, Peter? Did Michelle do that? Uh, no, that was um, that was last month, and it was kind of a, an update on kind of what we're we're doing here. I don't remember. It was not Michelle. No. Okay, maybe it was Jessica. Well, good. That's great to hear. Any other so, open items? All right, I'm gonna suggest we move to adjourn unless there's other business to, to take care of. If that was a motion, I second it. If it wasn't a motion, I so move. Okay. <laughs> we'll call it a motion. Wonderful. Yes. All right, well, thank you. Thanks to CATS. Thanks for our tech support. Thank you to our commission, commissioners for being on the call. And I'm sure we'll get some updates from Michelle in um, fairly short order. So enjoy your weekend, everyone. Yes, you too. Uh, enjoy right. your time back. You got a little bit of extra time this afternoon. Wonderful. All right. Bye, Talk to y'all soon. Bye.